The spring semester starts Monday at Bethune-Cookman University in Daytona Beach, and all students will be required to take a COVID test during their check-in process. Watch 2's Claire Metz reports students will not be allowed in dorms or classrooms without that negative test result. In a letter to students last week, university officials laid out the COVID protocol for spring semester. They encourage vaccinations and booster and recommend students get tested before they come back. But all will be tested when they do return. Only a handful of students are here, though the campus is officially open for them. Hours are set aside every day through Saturday for students to take a COVID-19 test at check-in. In an emailed statement, a university spokesman said all returning students will be tested again upon their return. Students who have tested positive will be unable to stay on campus and can return after quarantining and providing a negative test confirmation. Bethune-Cookman appears to be the strictest in the area for colleges and universities. At neighboring Embry-Riddle University, where classes also start Monday, students are expected to COVID test before coming back to campus, but it's a voluntary expectation. At Stetson University in DeLand, students are asked to submit their vaccination status. Only those who are not vaccinated and don't have an exemption will be required to take a COVID test when they come back. Officials at all the universities say testing on campuses is readily available. In addition to testing, BCU continues its mask mandate. Masks required in all campus buildings and at all campus functions. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, Claire Matz, West 2 News. University leaders cite an alarming increase in COVID-19 cases in Volusia County with more than 700 reported a day and a positivity rate in the county of nearly 23% for enforcing COVID precautions. <laughs>